Hey Covalence friends! So today, as you might guess, we'll be talking about Beekeeper. And although I do have a few bee hotels of my own for Mason Bees, we're not talking about apiculture, but instead Beekeeper Studio. Beekeeper Studio is a really, really cool piece of software. It is a multi-engine database um, SQL editor. So I, I found out about it a few months ago and I got really hooked because I like to just try different, you know, stacks pretty frequently. And so I do a lot of MySQL and Postgres based, you know, projects. And I was tired of switching back and forth between Workbench and PG Admin. And to be honest, I hated both of their UIs. And when I found out about Beekeeper, I was like, whoa, because suddenly I can use the same package for managing both of those database engines and any databases I create with them and it looks really really good so uh, let's go ahead and check it out and I can talk over some of the features um, one of the things that I really like and you know it's not a hard requirement for me but I I do stand by it pretty firmly is I like floss software free and libre open source software and their community edition um, adheres fully to that it's an electron app and it's written in view it's nice it's clean it's got a good interface it even has a decent light mode, which is uh, you know few and far between. I do appreciate a good light mode, and they actually you know do a nice job with it. Although I do use their dark mode. On top of that, you know, uh, Workbench's interface sucks. I you know teach, and in in the day to day interactions with students, when I'm trying to show them like even just the output of a query, I can't zoom in. Like I can zoom in the SQL editor itself, but everything else is just stuck at the native resolution, which is terrible. Like, you know, they've got to get a magnifying glass and hold it over their monitor. So um, just the fact that it's a nice Electron app <laughs> and uh, therefore everything's, you know, readjustable and zoomable is really, really nice. But um, the interface. So this is Beekeeper. You can provide a URL. It's going to go ahead and parse it and set up a connection for you to save based upon what database engine you're trying to connect to. But even if you do want to create one manually, it's got individual selectors here for, let's see, MySQL, MariaDB, Postgres, SQLite, SQL Server, Redshift, CockroachDB. And if you go to the Ultimate Edition, if you update your uh, subscription, you can even use Oracle. So that's really, really cool that this supports so much all in one. But um, let me go ahead and hop over to like one of my, um, just random miscellaneous databases so we can just kind of see the editor and so I'm going to connect to my garden tracker uh, app here and the interface itself like I said it's nice um, with it being an electron app you know the entire window scales so that alone is just nice the contrast the dark mode itself is really really good it's not straining on the eyes much like workbench or PG admin had been doing for me so like just the interface alone is also another reason that you should switch over. Um, and the fact that I can just go disconnect and connect to my local MySQL instance in like two clicks, like that's absurd because otherwise in an average day, I might be working with students on a project with a MySQL backend and then like 30 minutes later, maybe some other students I'm meeting with are using a Postgres you know, backend. And so it can be annoying toggling back and forth between these apps all at once but it's nice that I can just quickly disconnect and uh, reconnect so and uh, you get all the same fully fledged features as you would in just a regular query editor um, you know it just makes a connection to your database executes these queries and the actual output is nice and clean let's see I actually don't think I have any uh, data in this database but the IntelliSense is also really nice. Yeah, so I don't have anything in here, but. Let me go to a database that actually does have some stuff in it. Actually, I know that one of my MySQL databases does have some good
all of the uh, garbage projects that I put in here just as like random one-off examples for students. Here we go. So um, we've got a nice relational database here and I just want to show you the IntelliSense. So we've got some Studio Ghibli data um, that I took from the Studio Ghibli API and normalized to make it relational and so there's a film people uh, table joining films and people. So if I wanted to say Um, it's just really nice IntelliSense that, you know, workbench kind of lacked or um, PG admin, I didn't really utilize too terribly much um, But I, I really do like the IntelliSense here with Beekeeper and uh, let's see So the cool part about the IntelliSense here is just um, being able to select from the aliased columns, which is something that was severely lacking in Workbench. So, you know, just selecting a couple columns at random, but it's just really nice to be able to um, have that really rich IntelliSense on column names from joined tables. And the output panel itself, like I said, the fact that I can zoom in on this is just like an absolute lifesaver, which I absolutely could not do for, you know, Workbench, which it was just absolutely terrible. And I, I really wanted the ability to zoom in and show students that. Another cool part about this being an Electron window is it's not really like a primary intent of the application itself, but given that it is an Electron window, you can open up your browser dev tools within here and you can make fetch requests to some kind of fake data API like JSON placeholder to get fake user data. And you can use that to build up some strings of insert statements. So if I go to help and show developer tools um, in my browser history here we'll see uh, we've got some you know JSON placeholder fetching going on here where we use it to build up a string so like like I said this is not really like an intent of the application itself it's just kind of a nice side effect of it being an Electron app and so I don't know why I logged out all of this when I could have used the copy function but uh my lovely variable names as well you know um, I guess copy is something that's strictly only implemented in the browser API itself and not in I don't know I'll actually have to do a little uh, bit of research in that see why copy isn't defined for Electron apps but regardless it's really cool that we can still make fetch requests to API's of our own and create our own uh, SQL, you know, <laughs> insertion statements with, you know, relative ease, copy it from the console log, paste it here, and then boom, you've got a ton of fake data um, seeding your database. So that's just a small little side effect, not really a thing of the package itself, but I just wanted to show a couple light features of it. Um, data exports or some additional views if you wanted to manage the table itself, you can right click an individual table and click view structure. And if you wanted to add columns or edit them in some kind of way or update to have some kind of default value, you can establish that here. If you wanted to create some foreign keys, you can establish relations on this um, table itself. Let's see. If you wanted to set up some indices, so you know, you've got that tab there. If you wanted to set up some triggers, you got the ability to do so. So it's really nice. Uh, so we still do have this graphical editing capability. 
even though this is a more minimalist structure. Um, they do have a limited export feature, so you don't get like the full SQL dump process. And honestly, if I am doing some kind of SQL dumping, I would usually prefer to use the CLI anyway for that. But um, if we are exporting, we can export table by table in either CSV, JSON, or SQL format. Now, it is going to be something that is, you know, related to that engine. So you're not really going to be able to create an export of a MySQL database that's directly importable into Postgres. You can't, you know, do that, which a lot of tools wouldn't anyway. Um, you would have to export to something like a unified standard like JSON or CSV and then go through an importing tool to be able to generate a SQL insert, um, you know, chunk for whatever engine. So, um, but still, the fact that we still have graphical export capabilities is really nice. So overall, um, it's nice, it's minimalist. It does 99% of what I want it to do. And it comes to boot with a clean interface and having the ability to support you know multiple database engines which is just ludicrous so if you haven't checked it out before you definitely should give it a look i personally think i'm gonna go ahead and upgrade shortly to uh their hobbyist tier just because i've been using it so much and it's i, I want to support the developers just because it's a nice piece of software so if you've used it before and you like it go ahead and you know say that in the comments and let us know what you think about it otherwise go ahead click like and subscribe and if you want to see more videos like this in the future, go ahead and comment about that well. But otherwise, until later, I'll see you then.